Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Delonte Freeman. This is SMB Fitness. Before we get into today's topic, I want to explain to you what SMB Fitness means. So obviously, you know, the fitness part is self-explanatory. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people understand the abbreviations of SMB, right? Spirit, Mind, and Body. But you don't know the actual meaning of Spirit, Mind, and Body and why I choose to name my channel, my business, SMB Fitness. The reason I choose to name my channel and business, SMB Fitness, because everything is Spirit, Mind, and Body. And fitness is more of a, a health movement, right? It's just taking care of your health. It's being fit so that way you can live longer. So I chose SMB, so Spirit is you have to take care of your spiritual health in order to live longer and the best way to do that is by connecting to god and jesus told us that he is the way the truth and the life so if you connect to jesus then you ultimately connect to life and when you take care of your health what do you do right and why do you take care of your health to ultimately look better to be more healthy right to, to have a long lasting life so how can you take care of your physical health which is the b part body right and mental health which is you know mind how can you take care of those things without taking care of your spirit so the reason I do these voiceovers in these videos, unrelated to the actual video and the title and the thumbnail of the video, is because I'm knocking out all three in one, right? I'm doing spirit, mind, and body all in one. So, with that being said though, man, let's jump straight into the next video. I want to let you know something about life. Majority of the tough talking dudes be the softest. And if you don't know this, then you need to know it already. Like, we can even start with gang members, gang bangers. Anybody that needs to be a part of any type of group is the softest. I remember being around a group all the time, right? I had a specific friend group, a specific, you know, set of homies. I had a specific dwelling place, the hood. We would always be, you know, and it just made me feel empty. Not only that, but when I got alone or when I went anywhere by myself, it made me feel like I was missing something. Just being around a lot of people all the time will literally strip you of your masculinity. And not only your masculinity, but your bravery. Your bravery, bro. It will strip you of your bravery. Because if you can walk alone, bro, that's some of the bravest stuff to do on this earth. To walk alone. You know? Think of The Walking Dead. And that's my favorite show ever. I love zombie movies, but The Walking Dead was my favorite show. Think of The Walking Dead. It's more walkers than it is people alive. It's more walkers than it is people walking alone. Yes, the, the alive people, they, they, they come together and fight off the dead, but it's more dead than alive. They, they stick together. They walk together. They roam together. If you watch any of the shows and any of the series, you'll catch certain characters being by themselves in the wilderness. It's probably like one or two of them, or it was probably some family members or somebody they met before the fall, or it's probably somebody that they met along the way, and then they, you know, group up and then accumulate this type of group. And then if you realize, every single time that they get this big group going, it always end up coming to shambles, and they always end up separate again. They always end up back separate. So not only is the people that, that talk and walk in groups, not only is they soft, weak, scary, you know, hurt, lost souls, but they also can sink your ship. They also can break down what you what you building up, bro. Allowing too many people in can also tear you down. You gotta walk alone sometimes. You know, and when I say walk alone, I just mean like letting the outside ears and the outside opinions into your life. It really don't matter if they have to call you to get in contact with you. Then I think that's already an outsider. If they have to call you in order to even speak and see how you doing, if they got to call you, I don't think that it, it should even be, you know. Although the Bible tells us that the enemies will be a, the people of the own household, right? I do believe you need to stay. If you do walk with anybody, stay in your household with it, you know? If you do have to talk to anybody, stay in your household. But really, I truly tell you that it's better to walk alone. I'm seeing it. It can mess with your mind, you know? It can at times. It can definitely mess with your mind. I'm not gonna lie, I seen a video on Top Think the other day, and it was talking about how uh, older people get all times, right? It's because they die alone, right? They all alone by themselves all the time. They die alone. So I truly, 
The Bible even tells us that no man should be alone. So let me retract my whole statement. I don't think that you should walk alone. That's why I say dwell in your household. If they got to call you, then that's already too much. You know, if they got to call you, then they're an outsider and they, you can't let these people in. You know, but you'll know. You'll know exactly who to mess with and who not to mess with. You'll feel it. See, if they're in agreement with you, or if they, they fake lives and you can feel the life ain't genuine, or if you can feel yourself getting anxiety while speaking on the phone or even being around and in this proximity, God does not give us a spirit of fear. So, therefore, if you feel any type of feelings while talking to a person other than genuineness, other than love, other than excitement and joy, then either there's something wrong with you or something wrong with them one or the other either something wrong with you or something wrong with them but i realize bro being alone all the time you know talking to god read my word obviously i'm not super alone i live with my mother if you don't know me then you know me i mean now you know you know so i'm not always alone but majority of the time i spend most of my time alone you know when i have to talk i will speak you know about certain things so i'm not always alone but majority of the time i dwell alone but it's better this way bro them outsiders bro they don't love you bro it ain't no love out there in the streets and i learned that but from being on the front lines in the streets bro like literally being around people and i'm realizing that it's just me when really is it was supposed to be us you know it's a lot of us and yet it's i feel alone but now every day that I'm alone, I feel secure. You know, I don't feel that much alone because I don't have, you know what I'm saying? But back to the main topic of the video. Um, I don't know why I spoke about that, but back to the main topic of the video, bro. Majority of these people that talk tough is weak individuals, bro. They scary, weak individuals, bro. They hurt, you know, and a lot of people be hiding that pain. A lot of people feel like they gotta be tough and prove something to other people, you know? It's a lot of backbiting and gossiping going on too, man. I realized that today in my life. It is, it's a lot, man. It'll be people in your own family. You know, you'll hear certain things through another person and you would almost hear that this person kinda wants you to talk about them, you know? So that way they can go back and run the message back to y'all too. So it's like now nah, y'all spreading messages or talking between a person as opposed to talking face to face. And then every time you talk to this person face to face, -face you know, it's nothing but just love and genuineness. But every time you hear something else from another person, it's just straight gossip or not only gossip, but just straight, you know, envy and anger. So, yeah, man, moral of the story, bro, don't be scared of none of these people, bro. You hold your ground. You you go ahead and do what you got to do. You know, stay out the way. Stay to the cut. You know what I'm saying? Run up your money. Stack up your, your, your dollar bills, you know, for you and your family and, and the kids to come. You know, store up some treasure for your children's children. Not only that, but cling closer to God because that's the only thing that's forever. You know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, man. None of none of this other stuff really even matter, you know. Um, it's just about you and God, bro, for real. You know, you just gotta be alone. You know, talk to your Lord, get to understand your your Lord, spend the time with the ones that's real. You know, the people that really love you. You know what I'm saying? And don't worry about nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Cause it just is what it is, bro. People go talk, they go say whatever they want to say. They go say you acting weird. They go say you ain't coming around no more. It is what it is, bro. That's what people do, bro. But for the most part, I just say what I say, bro. You know? Stay to yourself, bro. They go hate the real until the end of the song, bro. They hated Jesus. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand, you keeping it real, you shine a lot on a light on their character. You shine a light on they, they, they lies. And to shine a light on somebody while they naked in the dark is like exposing a person to the world. So these people go hate you for you living in your truth and you all come from the same place and the same background and the same everything. So it's like if if he come from this spot and he's saying that the hood or all this stuff is corny or all this stuff is fake and a facade and 
you know, and they still live in it, they're going to be like, man, F that dude, you know, he just lame, you know? So, people talk hot, man. People talk tough. Don't take it to heart. It doesn't mean anything. It is what it is, bro. I love y'all, bro. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And I'm out.